Merhaba, my name is Nezil. In this video, we're going to play one to six player roll and write game, Chieftain, designed by me and published by my beautiful wife, who helps sponsor this video. In this game, you're building your own Chieftain from the ground up. All you need is game sheets, three regular D6 dice, and a pen per player. Now, this is going to be a solo playthrough, but you can play along watching this video. Pause here, grab your own game sheet and join me playing this game because I believe Chieftain is better experience with friends. Alright, before we start I'd like to mention that there will be 18 advanced scoring cards to choose from at the beginning of each game. These will be available to all backers once we make the final touches to the graphic design. And uh, that's all I want to say. Alright, let's start. So this is our sheet and I'm going to write my name here. We're gonna start rolling. Three, four, five. Now it doesn't matter who rolls the dice because everyone using the same dice result but making different choices. So here I can choose three and four, which is seven, three, threes, five, plus four is nine, which allows me to write a man. And I can write 5 plus 3, which is 8, is a special, so we cannot write this one because we need logs to build a house. Also, you need people to build a house, so we're going to skip that one. Uh, in this case, I'm going to pick 7, and the shape will be 5. Hmm. I'm going to pick spot... Three trees, seven, five the shape. All right. Okay, let's roll again. Hmm. Three plus two is five, which allows me to write a water. And in the shape, like six, or I can choose nine. In the shape of two and eight we don't mm. we still cannot build a house I think it's better if we draw a lake around I think here shape six all right roll again hmm I think we're gonna need some men in this chieftain. Let's see. Five water again. Eight house. We cannot make that one. And seven. Three trees in shape of three. I think it's good if we can fit around here. Like that. Okay. Right, this is 10 men, but five, I think four men is too many at the moment. 11, four, nine, six. Well, we're gonna need logs, so I'm gonna go for lumberjacks. Nine gives me some certain type of men. Depends if I draw the man here, they will become fishermen. If I draw here, they will become lumberjack. If I draw here, they will become like jobless, unemployed. So for now, I think I'm going to draw three men like that. Then I'm going to fill in my men space there will be house built on top of them later and these two adjacent to the forest they will immediately become lumberjacks and they cut all the trees around them not diagonally just adjacent orthogonally so this one this one 
this one and this one so three logs each we're gonna have three six plus six 12 logs so i'm going to mark logs here one two three four five twelve now this is unemployed person so we don't know what he's going to do later maybe he's going to build a house maybe he's going to join them to cut more forests i don't know we'll see so this is pretty much it for this turn let's roll five four hmm well six gives me two trees five gives me water i think i'm gonna go with water squares five four in the shape of big square i'm gonna go like that all right end of turn eleven three mm -hmm. nine oh it's just three so now eight so when you decide to go for eight you don't look at the, it doesn't matter the shape you don't look at the shape you just draw in one square so three eight and these these just you need to fill in one square only and i decide to go for eight eight let's see we need five logs to build a house we need an unemployed person or a builder so we have those I'm going to draw a house right around here house and this immediately becomes a builder since we draw a house we draw the roof so now we have one house so these logs are spent we have we can build more house because we have logs and that's it for this turn so here's another situation if you roll two ones two sixes or all equals like two 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 three 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 uh, you can draw a wild square so you can draw anything you want so you can draw a house only if you have logs and a builder so in this case i'm going to draw another house or maybe should i draw a wall here let me draw a house because house gives shelter to my people it is needed at the end of the game so i'm going to draw a house here adding the roof and that's what i did and i rolled eight hmm maybe i shouldn't have drawn that house because i have one builder but i don't have logs to build a house uh, 11 gives me people i think i'm gonna go with that one the shape of two Okay, I'm going to place two people here. This immediately becomes a fisherman. And collects fish adjacent to that guy. So two people first. I'm going to fill in the space. And two fish. I'm going to fill in fish space two to show I collected the fish and these fish later feeds the men in the house so one fish feeds two people if at the end of the game you don't provide your people with enough shelter or jobs or food you get minus points so this was the end of my turn right seven Sounds a good eleven. Mm hmm. Maybe uh, 
No. Seven. I think I'm going to build upon my forest. Sevens and fives. Hmm. See. Add here. All right. Hmm. Three plus one is four. Four gives me water in shape of five, which I don't like very much. Eight gives me house, but I don't have logs. Six, I think I'm gonna go draw some forest, expanding on that forest. Six in shape of three. Hmm. I'm gonna add this time to so six. There's a difference in the forest. And on my turn, rolled again. Nice. Twelve. Twelve gives me a wild, a joker, which I'm going to. I need logs, so I think I'm going to draw one single man just here. So this becomes Lumberjack and collects six logs. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and the man, I'm gonna add. So you can check if you made a mistake and you can add it later. So like I'm seeing six pupil that I have in my chieftain. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, same thing. Roll again. Eight. Now we have enough logs to build a house and we have a builder. But if I'm going to build a house around here, I think later maybe I cannot complete my wall. If I complete the wall at the end of the game, that gives me bonus 12 points. But if you draw a wall into one square, that just gives you three points. Hmm. I think I'm going to draw a house next to this guy, the corner. So this becomes a builder, build a house. Roll again. Another house. But again, we don't have enough logs. We just spent all the logs. I think we need more fish because we have a lot of men and we don't have enough fish. It's time to explain a beautiful bonus action. Now, as you can see, can four gives you water and in shape of five. So there is a tiny space here in shape of a light. So this shows you, you can have a bonus action. Bonus actions, you can only use them once per game and only if you complete a house. What does this bonus action allows you to do is you can draw the shape missing one square. So I decide to draw a lake in shape of five just around here. I must draw here, here, here and here, all the corners. But I'm going to use the bonus action so I don't have to. I'm going to draw one less square. And this allows me to draw like this. So I skipped drawing that one. And this fissure collects fish from this lake. And I get one more fish. Yay! Alright. So uh, the more you have houses, the more bonus actions you have. So I can use the bonus action twice more during the game. Let's see. Eight house? No, we cannot do that. Um, six, maybe. Mm, hmm. I don't know. All right. Um, I I think I'm gonna use six in shape of three. But where? I think I'm going to use another bonus action to draw here. Yes, the 
this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use a bonus action, which allows me to draw one less square. And six, two trees, and three. So one less square, so I'm going to skip drawing this and draw here and here. This collects here two more logs. One, two. All right. So in the future turns, if I roll an eight or a joker, I can build a house. All right. Four. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can use that one. 2 plus 1 is 3, and 3 gives you a wall. But you need to have unused logs, which we have. Two unused logs. Let's draw a wall here. Hmm, this is. This must be. No, okay, 9 and 3 men. Maybe we can make. I think I'm going to use a combination nine. Let me go here, make it all fishermen. So three people, one, two, three, and they all collect one fish each. Three fish. All right. Ah, oh, bed rolls. 11, hmm, 8. Do we need another house? I think we do. I'm gonna use 8, ignoring this one. We have logs, we have builders. I'm going to build a nice house next to the lake. Uh, add the roof to show I built a house. Alright. Of turn. Hmm. Another eight. We cannot build any more houses. So only thing we can choose is six in the shape of four. I'm gonna write here. Okay, maybe later I'm going to put a person there. Twelve. Ooh. So we have difficult choice. Should I go for the completing the wall or do I want to add a single man here to collect lots of wood? I think I'm going to use a lumberjack here because it immediately becomes a lumberjack. Add my man here and this, this and this. Five, seven logs. All right. Roll again. Five, three. Hmm. By the way, the game ends when you cannot draw anything. Because on your turn, if you can draw, you must draw. So four gives me water. Shape it here. This one collects another fish from here. And... Marked it. All right. Turn. Eight. Do we need another house? I don't know. Seven in shape of three. I think I'm going to build another house. Let's go. Here. And marked here. All right. We have two more logs. We spent all of them and we don't have any builders left let's see four hmm. nine gives me a person and just one that's nice one so maybe i can add that guy here becomes a fisherman collects from bees so I'm going to add one guy here and two fish here and here. All right, roll again. Eight, we cannot do that. So nine gives me a man in the shape of two. 
What about five? Five gives me water. Burp, burp, burp. Maybe I'm gonna go... I'll add water like that here. This guy collects another fish. Adding here. All right. Three, three. So eight. Cannot do that. So we must pick number six, which is two threes in shape of five. If you don't use the bonus action, game ends. But we're going to use a bonus action here. I'm going to use bonus action to draw one less square uh, right around here. So skip that one. All right, draw again. Two, two. We're gonna draw a lake. We have to. Five, four, four. Let's see. Fours in shape of three gonna hmm or five which is water in shape of two so I'm going to draw two waters like that here there is nobody around that so no fish all right eight we cannot use that leaves us the choice four in shape of six, four is water. We cannot do anything with the wall. We cannot complete the wall anymore. So I'm going to draw water like that here. Roll again. Ten. Just people in shape of three. If we use the bonus action, we can place our guys here. So I'm gonna first use the bonus action. So we use one less square. I'm going to add two people here. This immediately becomes a builder. This, uh, if there are more than one area around the guy, you decide what they're going to do. So in this case, I'm going to make this guy a fisher so that he can collect fish from here. Add one more fish. I'm going to add these guys. So we have one bonus action left and not many squares. Four. I think this might be our last chance. I'm going to pick five. So I'm going to draw a water in shape of two, which is usually nowhere, but I'm going to use a bonus action to draw only one square, which I'm going to draw that lake here. Now this guy is a lumberjack so he doesn't he cannot fish but he will enjoy being next to water so this will give me points at the end of the game draw again in shape of three we cannot draw anywhere uh, shape of two maybe here in seven well, we can draw here, All right? I think it's the last roll. So eight, we cannot build a house. And in the shape of five, there's not enough space. That's it. That's the end of the game because we cannot write anything anymore we cannot draw anything anymore that's the end of the game and we'll skip to the scoring first we're going to count the houses we built we're going to have one two three four five houses you can double check on your map one two three four five seven each is 30 
5. Then we're going to score 3 points per wall square. So we only draw 1 and that is 3 points. If we manage to connect these pre-drawn walls, that would have given us 12 points. And this is the all men, doesn't matter what job they make, all the people, you're going to score one point each. So this is, I think, 13. Uh, let me double check on the map. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13. All right, 13 points. Now, this is fishermen next to a forest. Do we have that here? No. So, zero points. And this is lumberjacks next to water square. So, this is why I placed this water here. So, score three points. This is three. Now, you're going to score one point per tree in your largest forest. Largest means connected orthogonally. So, I made a quite a large forest here so let's see if there are any unconnected no so we can count all of the points here one two three four sixty two sixty three you score two points per water square in your largest uh, square let's see if they're all connected i think so so one two three four 21 22 times 244 now this is one point per unused logs so you can see these logs they don't have uh, this area you don't have a roof so that means you didn't use them so two points this is uneaten fish. How do we understand that? One fish feeds two people. So the, this fish feeds here, this fish feeds here, fish, fish, fish. And this, you see, this guy is alone and couldn't finish the whole fish by himself. We have one surplus fish two three four five times three fifteen points then you start losing points lose one point per empty square one two three four five six seven minus seven do we have unsheltered person no we have all the people they are all sheltered so it's all right and do we have hungry people in our tribe? I think we have surplus fish, so it's all right. Do we have unemployed people in our chiefdom? No. And this we didn't use for this playthrough. There are 18 advanced scoring cards. If you pick one or two before the end of the game, you add score here. So we don't care about that at the moment. And we Calculate the total score here. You add all of them together and you score 161. So that is my final score. What is your final score? So if you play the game with me, I'd like to know your high score. How, how well did you do? How, how big is your chiefdom? How well is your chiefdom? And that is the game. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions regarding the rules or regarding anything about the game, feel free to contact me in the comments or on the Kickstarter or on BGG. See you on my next game.